Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to find proven products to sell and dropship in 2020. So when it comes to being successful at dropshipping, the easiest way to give yourself the best chance of success is to dropship a proven product. The reason being then is because if we can find a product on AliExpress that has say a proven sales history of let's say 50 units a day for the past couple of weeks, then essentially we know that product is in demand. Therefore, we can take that very same product, put it on our Shopify store, start running some Facebook ads and find the same success. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. The AliExpress dropshipping center has recently been kind of like refurb. They've added some pretty cool new features and filters, which I'm going to show you how to use, which make the whole product research process a whole lot easier. Now, before we jump into the video, I just want to very quickly say, um, if you do enjoy it, please do make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. I do read every single comment too. So if there is a question you want to ask me, make sure you post it down below and I will reply to you and finally then the last thing I want to say is that I do upload four videos every single week so if you want regular content from me then please do make sure you subscribe to my channel as well so with that being said then without any further ado let's jump straight into it so first things first you need to head over to the AliExpress dropshipping center you will need an AliExpress account to do this and if you haven't activated it yet you will need to do so but don't worry it's a fairly straightforward step-by-step -step process um, only takes a few seconds and then essentially it will take you to this screen here so this this is essentially your dashboard but what we're interested in is this button here which is going to take us to this screen and this is where we can now start to look for products just to give you kind of like a quick introduction then we have these three different tabs at the top um, I haven't worked out yet why this is called sponsored products um, to me it just looks like kind of like all the highest rated suppliers that are probably paying to be up here but but what it is useful for then is if you have your heart set on a specific niche or let's say you've found a particular product that you want to find the best supplier for we can click in this category section here find a niche you're in so for example we could go to um, probably not home appliances let's go for computer and office and then internal storage and it's going to give us the best supplies for that particular niche the previous dropshipping center did have a similar um, kind of function but it never works that well to be honest it seems a lot better now where things get interesting for us then is the different kind of filters and options that aliexpress have handily added for us so number one is the fact that we can choose a ship from and ship to so me being in the uk i will always start with the uk it's in fact that's quite a common question people ask me is where i drop ship to and i'll always start in the uk and if i can do it successfully i.e profitably to the uk then i'll start to scale out into other countries but what this button now gives us is we can now choose the countries in which the item is located. So for example, then if we choose items that are located in Spain, ship into the UK, typically they will arrive a lot faster. And sometimes you can even find products that will arrive in less than a week. Just to give you guys a quick example then of how quickly you can actually source some products, let's try and find one. Um, so let's go for this blackhead remover. It's, it's on the list in like four or five different product listings. Um, so once this loads up, as you can see, we can choose all the different countries we want to source this from. If we go for Spain, in fact, it can't actually deliver to the UK, but there are a couple of other European countries. We can go France or Italy, both are the same, and it's guaranteed deliver. So as it, see, as it says, delivered before the 2nd of February or a full refund. So that's two weeks from today. Um, and that's worst case scenario as well. So as you can see, you don't actually have to put up with those three to four weeks delivery times. And just to show you the fast scope of products too, there's 250 pages of products that you can source in that time frame. So another thing you can do as well, which you didn't use to be able to, if we go back to China, we've got this e-packet checkbox here too. So we can make sure we're only gonna be looking at product listings that offer e-packet. Um, if you are gonna drop ship from China, then I thoroughly recommend you only stick to e-packet because it is tracked and typically it is the fastest option too. However, if we go back to the step-by-step -step process, then there's a couple of pieces of criteria I want you guys to stick to when you're looking for products. So number one then is the cost to you is less than $15. The reason being is because the majority of people who watch my channel are from the UK. And once you go over that threshold, that includes delivery as well, by the way, once you go above that threshold, then you may be liable to some import duties and taxes. And then I want the cost to you, so to us as the dropshipper, to be more than $3, preferably, purely because the amount of people I see who just fill their stores full of like 50 cents or 50p pieces of plastic rubbish, then it's gonna devalue your brand and it's gonna put a lot of people off. The next point I want you to consider as well is I want you to check the amount of drop shipping orders and make sure it's at 100 plus. Now that is as a guide and the reason being is why I'm gonna show you. Now in the past, 
Aliexpress never used to show you how many dropshipping orders their products had. So this is quite a important piece of information. The reason being is because Aliexpress isn't just a dropshipping site. There's a lot of end users that come on to Aliexpress and buy products. So just because a product has a ton of orders doesn't necessarily make it a good product to dropship. But because of now, we can see exactly how many dropshipping orders a product has. If there's people selling and dropshipping this product profitably, then again, there's no reason why we can't. Essentially, it makes it a proven dropshipping product. If we go back to the Google document, then there's another number as well that I want you guys to consider when you're choosing products to, um, to kind of put on your list and test. So if I just draw your attention to this Google document here, it's called Product Ideas. The reason I keep it up there is because when I'm just scrolling through Facebook or on, on AliExpress or Thieve, whatever it is, if I come across a product that I like, I'll put it on this Product Idea. Um, Google document and then I'll just kind of like slowly walk my way through testing each individual product so as I said then the next number I want you guys to consider is the daily orders and check the analysis of a product to see if this is at 5% plus of the total orders so what I mean by this then is if we take for example let's just go for this random product here this like this koala bear here then the numbers we're interested in then is this total orders here which is 8,600 the drop shipping orders is 5,000 which is pretty Pretty good it's a high percentage of that amount of orders which is a great sign by the way the rating is 4.8 I'm not quite sure what that's based on at this moment and then the sales performance is marked as good but what I'm interested in then is once I hit this analyze button once it loads up then it's going to take you to this product analysis page here and this is a great page by the way any products you look to drop ship you should always come to this page because what it's going to do is it's going to give you the daily sales volume for this particular product and I want this number to be consistently high than 5% of the total amount of orders. So if I remember correctly, then this was at a total of 8,600. If I do my maths, we're looking at over 400 orders per day for it to match the criteria of this Google document. The reason being is because the higher the number is, then the stronger the current demand for this particular product is. So the higher, the better basically. And as we can see, we're kind of consistently at 600, 500, 400, 2000 and only for the kind of like past couple of days has it dipped below that but then we've had another strong day at over 2000 orders now the reason for these spikes in sales volume if i had to guess is probably because whoever's drop shipping these then these are the days in which they've placed their orders so it doesn't really mean much to us as somebody looking for a product what we're more focused on is these lower more consistent numbers and as long as they are above that five percent benchmark that i've set then you've got the signs of a really great product that has strong demand that has current proven strong demand and therefore makes it a great product to drop ship now if we go back to the google document the next point i want to say is that you can use this product analysis by the way for any product that's on aliexpress so for example if you're using thieve and you find a product like this leather um, apple watch strap um, as long as you can get the aliexpress product page url you can head over to product analysis here on the left put it your product URL around there click analyze and then you can find the sales history for pretty much any product another pretty cool feature you can do as well within this dropshipping center is if we go back to the dashboard you can see this checkbox here that says video and we can find products that come with videos so if you are struggling for content to use as your Facebook ads um, then even if you haven't found your product on here you can put in here like dog bed um, as long as you keep that check mark um, check marked if that's the right terminology uh, we'll click search and then we can find all the dog beds that come with videos that then you can chop up um, to use as your own Facebook ads. So as a quick summary then, if we just quickly head back to the Google document, um, I've shown you how to use the AliExpress dropshipping center. I've shown you how to find the previous sales history of a product so you can see if it's proven or not. And there's also another step you can do. I know I talk about it in every single video, but trust me, if you're not using Google Trends, just to give an example then, so the Apple Watch strap here, we can clearly see whether the Apple Watch strap is currently a popular search term on Google or not. And that's going to give us solid insight into whether people are actually buying this product or not. So it's definitely kind of like a failing step or an extra step that you should be doing. So if you find, for example, let's say you want to go for this dog bed and within the drop shipping center and you go in it and the sales history is really good. Just make sure that you come across to Google Trends, put in dog bed. Um, you can go for the country, so obviously I only drop shipped to the UK in the beginning, it's the United Kingdom, for the past five years. And what this is currently telling me is that the current popularity is at 73%, which isn't 
too bad but what it is also telling me is because the spike has happened here if history repeats itself it's going to continue to go down so this is a product that's currently falling out of demand back to the google document and there's one final step i want you guys to make sure you do with every single um, every single product sorry um, that you're going to test and make sure you find it on facebook or at least do a couple of different searches for it to see what kind of um, content and results come back to give you an example um, of search for dog bed and what you're looking for is essentially not this if we look at the one two three four five six seven eight that looks the same nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 there's over 15 people selling this different products it's the very first thing that comes up it's the same products everybody's selling the views are pretty decent as well 15,000 1.5 million um, these are pretty poor 50,000 quarter of a million to 50 100,000 so there's quite a lot of people who have advertised this product quite extensively and this means one of two things then number one is to sell this successfully it's going to take a ton of budget because you'll have to create original content and there's going to be a lot of competition for the same product which brings me on to point number two which is if you were to advertise this product the chances are it won't be the first time somebody has seen it with that being said then to kind of wrap the video off with the last couple of points is third from last end depending on the products use instagram or facebook ads to market the product facebook works best to target a specific country and audience because obviously you can't really do that to the same degree on instagram and then instagram works best for fitness and fashion and brand heavy products for example if you're selling clothing or shoes and trainers then people tend to buy those products those items because of the brand on them and to give your brands that instant credibility then you need a an influencer to do that essentially so that's when influencer marketing comes into play um, and and is far superior to facebook ads in my opinion it doesn't just have to be instagram influencers either it can be youtube influencers facebook influencers snapchat influencers um, pretty much anybody as long as they have a significant following and they represent your brand the way you want it represented Anyway, with that being said then guys, that wraps up the video. If you're still with me, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. If you enjoyed this and learned something new, I really hope you did, by the way. Um, please make sure you let me know. Comment below, let me know what you've learned um, or just simply hit that like button. Please do make sure you subscribe as well for regular content every single week. And finally, thanks again for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.